Hogan learned to gamble early. Early. He learned to gamble early, and his gambling was, was in his blood. And uh, he learned to gamble and, and uh, later, later worked in uh, gambling houses. I mean, because that's, you, you learn to gamble as a kid. You know, I was seven or eight years old, and you're shooting dice at seven or eight years old. You weren't looking at TV. You were popping dice down there or fighting or something of that kind in the yard. And what good does that do? What, what, and later on, what does this mean? Well, you know that uh, later on, you know that life is not risk-free. There's a lot of risk uh, out here, and uh, you, you play your game that way. You don't play your game risk-less. There's a lot of risk out here. And so when you go and try to win a tournament, you understand that there's risk today. And you know the odds. One of the things that you learn in, in gambling is you know odds. And when you're starting to take this ball over this creek, you know pretty much the odds. If the odds are in your favor, you take it over. But Mangrum, Lloyd Mangrum, one of Ben's close friends, big gambler, but he, he thought of odds like a 50-foot putt. He knew it was 50 to 1 or 60 to 1. He didn't fool with that. He waited till the odds got very much in his favor before he tried the cup. You see guys today worrying whether they can make a 40 or 50 foot. They should go to Vegas and play the slot machines or something. I mean, because there, there are huge odds out there on these big, long putts. Hogan uh, admired Jimmy Demerit. Uh, you're a great friend, and uh, you built champions with Jimmy, and yet they were dead opposites. Why do you think they had a togetherness? Well, Jimmy, again, comes from caddying. They all... All of these fellows had the same bringing up. Uh, no money, a father that wasn't around. Even the father was having a problem, so how would the kids come out? So they all had this basic problem of not having, coming out of a, uh, they all came out of good houses, but they came out of houses that was no money in there. So you had to get out pretty early and start hustling. And so the hustle, or you became a hustler of some sort. Now, uh, when you use the word hustler, it's not, we maybe would some people think of that as a bad word, but the way you're talking about it, it's a way of making it in the world. I think that they, I think unless you've found that and found out how to hustle, uh, that you you're not a good salesman. You you can't project yourself out. You keep living in the rearview mirror. Uh, mirror. You're not dealing with today. I mean, today it's a hustle in whatever you're doing, oil or uh, goods or movies or whatever you're trying to do. They, they all came up with that background. Mangrum did a lot of Texas guys, Ralph Goldall, all of Byron Nelson.